So I'm talking about the debate over sex education in Clark County Schools. It reached a fever pitch last night and left a lot of people with more questions than answers. The biggest topic of discussion was whether Clark County should have an opt-in or an opt-out procedure for teaching kids sex ed. Now the current system is opt-in, which means that kids must turn in a signed permission slip in order to participate in sex education at schools. If Clark County were to change to an opt-out system, all kids would participate in sex ed classes until their parents didn't want them to. Now the only way to change the current system would be through a change in legislation. The debate lasted for more than six hours and many people, including students, were upset that other topics weren't discussed. We're lacking pretty much everything from how to use protection, um, gender identity, what it is, um, sexual orientation. Now, what sex ed issues concerns you most? And that's the topic today. First, I want to ask Ricky, I mean, you've sat in these meetings before. Yeah. Six hours? Six hours. Is that normal? Over, no, that's not normal okay. at all. I mean, and we're talking, when we say six hours, this is like past the normal meeting time. Oh my the people gosh. were really, really upset. This has been a very controversial topic for some time now. Uh, a lot of the parents don't want their kids to take sex ed at all. Right. And so the, you've got two camps. You've got the camps that say, you know, our kids should have a choice, and then the ones who say, no, it, it shouldn't be something that is discussed at school, it should be discussed at home. And I understand parents' concerns, but in this internet age, when every kid has a phone, do you really think that your kids aren't getting sex ed somewhere else right. that they're in not getting ways, it in different ways, in more provocative and ways. Yeah, I've heard that we have one of the highest pregnancy rates in the right. country. Yes. So if all the wow. states that need education, you would think it would be us. Right. I think it should be mandatory that you actually have to go through a course and you have to opt out, not opt in. Yeah. Just makes it exactly. easier. Everyone should learn about sex. STDs, right. Right. everything that comes with it, and pregnancy, and how to take care of a baby, and all the other issues that come with that. Exactly. I, I don't exactly. think, yeah. I, I think there is a point, and you correct me if I'm wrong in your opinion, it, there's a point when it's maybe a little too early, like at the kindergarten level. I, yeah, no, that was I, crazy. I, I think that's crazy yeah, talk. They were talking about that. But certainly junior high, high school, that's when I started taking sex ed classes, right. and it was mandatory. And if my parents had an issue with it, with it rather, they would have talked. So it was more of an opt-out option, but I think it should be mandatory across the board and then if the parents really feel that strongly then you assign something and say okay opt out either way opt in or opt out it's an option right which is right. nice right but I think it's necessary so what do you think right yeah it's a, kind of what you say like the, the whole you know social media cell phones there's kids fourth fifth, fifth grade that have cell phones now right and they're seeing all this stuff they're not educated on it then yeah. it's like right. you said one of the highest pregnancy rates in the United States. and so many yes. families come you know, kids come from broken homes and right. the right. parents work they're struggling and you, kids are left alone things are going to happen and it's going to happen no matter what right yeah. so right. at least to educate the kids about yeah. what can go wrong educate right. them even I pass out condoms you know with yeah. the permission slips I mean don't right. staple it but you know. <laughs> <laughs> no don't <laughs> And it's all in the way it's taught, right? So right. teaching these teachers who are going to teach sex education. And about right. accidents, too. That's right. okay. Exactly. exactly. That's right. okay. Yeah. And then also yeah. taking it to different levels in the age we live in with transgender exactly. and all different That's sexual orientation, gender identity, very different than having sex. So the exactly. word sex on many different levels, I think, needs, you know, to, we need to educate yeah. our, our kids and ourselves about it. Exactly. We've learned a lot about <laughs> transgender issues right here in just the, the last, you know, six months.